We're going to take you from Rome to London by train with the Hawaii Geographic Society. Landing at Rome's Fiumicino Airport. Get the baggage claim. Wait around for 10, 15 minutes for all the bags to show up. Right away we get used to carrying our own suitcases because that's what we'll be doing throughout this tour. Bringing the bags to the train, bringing them back to the hotel and so on. We take care of it all ourselves. It's easy to do with these modern suitcases with nice wheels. And we pile into our private cars that will take us directly from the airport into downtown Rome to our hotel, the Hotel Tiziano. You could take taxis also, but it's easier for the group to pile into the cars. And starting out right away on a brief orientation walk. Get the feel of this fascinating city. And what better way could there be to start out than to have a fantastic meal of some fresh pasta and fresh salad. Ah, Italian pasta. This is one of the reasons that we've come to Europe to enjoy some fantastic foods. Oh, this food is so good. It's fresh, homemade pasta. That's what you really want to get when you're in Italy. Don't order spaghetti. It's generally a dried noodle and get the fresh salads to go with it. As a group, we enjoy a nice convenient service here. Don't have to bother ordering. Just tell them, bring us a couple kinds of fresh pasta, tomato sauce, a porcini mushroom sauce. That's that special big mushroom of Rome, only found in the summer season. And you don't want to eat too much in your first couple of meals when you've arrived on a trip to Europe because of jet lag. You want to take it easy. You want to treat your body nicely. So have a little bit of pasta. It's a very light meal. Nice light touch, delicious foods. And that'll give you some firepower, some energy to easily get through this first afternoon. It's going to be a big day. We're going to be taking a walk right through the historic heart of Rome Piazza Navona onto the Pantheon, the Trevi Fountain, and the Spanish Steps. Starting out with a bang, your first walk should bring you into the Piazza Navona with its picture postcard perfect Sant'Agnese Church by Borromini. It's a good place to have your portrait sketched or perhaps just buy a scenic original watercolor painting. There's watercolors, there's oil paintings, and the wonderful thing is these are original works of art and you're buying it directly from the artist. There's no middleman involved. Did, did you sign them? So you're getting a good deal. Now from the Piazza Navona, walk two short blocks to the best preserved ancient building in Rome, the Pantheon. It dates back to the second century and it still has its original roof intact. Well, walk behind now the left side of the Pantheon, that's the east side, First, notice the whimsical statue in front on the little piazza. It's an elephant with an Egyptian obelisk growing out of its back. It's the only significant Gothic church in Rome. Inside the church is a mix of Gothic architecture with some decor from the Renaissance and later. San Ignacio is part of the Jesuit college and you don't want to miss this church because of its illusionistic ceiling mural that was painted during the 17th century by the Jesuit priest Andrea Pozzo. Continuing walking along in this central part of Rome, two blocks further on the right side you'll see the church of Sant'Andrea della Frate, which is well worth a visit for several important items. Two angels carved by Bernini. So Andrea della Frate is really a, a wonderful moment's refuge from the busy streets outside. Then we arrive at the Spanish Steps. The setting is like another painting or postcard come to life with the curvaceous broad staircase elevating your eyes to the Twin Tower Church of Trinita di Monti and to one of our favorite restaurants in the city, La Rampa. This place has the most incredible buffet spread and it only costs uh, about $11, $12 for all you can eat on one plate and you can really pile it on there if you know what you're doing. And then continuing on to the Via del Corso, this really is the shopping part of Rome and it's great to get away from the cars, away from the motorcycles, 
and enjoy some pedestrian ambiance. There's plenty of restaurants here, there's sidewalk restaurants and cafes. It's a great gathering spot, major hangout for locals and visitors alike. Well, you're probably ready for some refreshments, perhaps some rich Italian ice cream, four short blocks away at Giolitti's, one of the city's most famous gelateria. Ah, gelato. Why don't you try several unusual flavors together, topped with the complimentary whipped cream. Gelato is served at a softer texture than American ice cream, so the flavor really comes through. 